Now, the Buffalo Bills signed running back Reggie Bush on Monday, adding experience to a pretty uncertain offensive backfield. Now, Bush, who's already 31, is expected to compete with veteran Mike Gillingsley and rookie Jonathan Williams for the backup role behind LaShawn McCoy in training camp. This is what he said. I work day and night overtime to just get myself back to full strength uh, with the physical therapist, um, you know, with the team doctors in, in San Fran. But uh, mostly in the off season, uh, when I went back home, uh, I really put in a lot of overtime, a lot of work, and just my conditioning, um, and just making sure my knee was back to full strength. How close are you with Shady at all? Uh, honestly, not that close at all. <laughs> um, but I'm looking forward to developing a relationship with him. You know, I've been a fan for a while, and and seeing what he's done over the course of his career. Um, you know, I, as I'm a fan, you know, watching him, what he did in, in Philly. So I'm excited to get a chance to develop a relationship with him. And, and uh, you know, I think it's going to be pretty cool to have both of us back there and, and um, you know, making some plays. Now, Carlos Williams, he uh, showed promise as a rookie. And I was one of my personal favorites uh, as a number two running back last season. But he's suspended for the first four games of the regular season for a violation of the NFL substance abuse policy. Now, Jonathan Williams, in no relation to Carlos Williams, uh, he, he was arrested for a suspicion of DWI earlier this month. Although, if the 2016 fr- uh, fifth round pick is suspended, it'll likely not happen until later uh, in the upcoming season or until the 2017 season. Now, Jonathan Williams, he was a guy who was one of my favorites too at, uh, at the University of Arkansas. Him and Alex Collins were two backs that were just, if healthy, very scary. Now, offensive coordinator Greg Roman has already discussed with Bush the possibility of using both him and McCoy at the same time on the field, which could be exciting if, again, both are healthy. And maybe a younger Reggie, this would have been more lethal, more scary. But 31-year-old Reggie Bush, not the same, especially the last couple years we've seen him, even when he has been healthy, has not really been that exciting. Because, uh, you know, again, he's, he's struggled to stay healthy the past two seasons. He was released by the Detroit Lions after an injury plague 2014 season, which limited him uh, to 297 rushing yards in nine games. And in his 10 years in the NFL, which is crazy, time is boom, gone like that. Reggie Bush, I, I remember him playing as USC. I was one of those kids when I was little. I was playing as a big, t- big, t- uh, big dog team, USC Reggie Bush. I remember it like it was yesterday I was playing NCAA, what, 05 it was? I remember like it was yesterday playing on the original Xbox. And now look at us. Yeah. Uh, he, in his entire 10 seasons, he has totaled 5,493 rushing yards and 3,500 receiving yards. Uh, he eclipsed a, a 1,000 rushing yards in 2011 with the Miami Dolphins and again in 2013 with the Lions. Now, Bush has also become a candidate to return punts for the Bills. Now, this is where... It gets a little, all right, maybe maybe the Bills aren't really thinking that it's 2016 and not 2007. Uh, because while they don't have any of the three players that returned punts for the Bills last season, Marcus Thigpen, Demarius Moore, and Letus uh, Miguel, McKelvin, they're, they're all off the ro- They're not even uh, on the roster anymore. Uh, so Reggie Bush, you put him back there. And again, like I said, if this was a few years ago, this is pretty exciting. Reggie Bush, LaShawn McCoy, and the same team. Man, that offense would have been Tyrod Taylor, Sammy Watkins, and Robert Woods out there in receiver. Kobe Listen, BTCU, represent, yeah. Uh, his speed, man, you were thinking it's great, but can Reggie Bush produce what he's, his potential used to be? And at 31 years old, does he still have... What is his ceiling, basically? That's what I'm asking you. So let me know in the comment section where you see Reggie Bush and how he can uh, affect defenses now with the Bills. And do you even see him staying healthy for an entire 16-game season? And plus some if they want to get into the playoffs. Let me know in the comment section. Tweet me at Short Sports Show. And, yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs>